Hey everyone, welcome back to AWS Cast. This is Intermediate AWS. Today we're talking about VPCs with public and private subnets. As a quick overview, this is the architecture that we're going to be creating. Here we go. So we've validated that we've been unable to access the this public web server from the from or I'm sorry, the private web server from the public internet. Now let's test that we can access the private web server from the public subnet. So if you remember a couple of videos back, we created a rule that said we will we can access the this private instance as long as it the source traffic is coming from the public subnet from that security group. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is I need to send my key, my access key, to uh, the public instance. And, and really this probably isn't something that you should do. Again, I'm just trying to prove a point uh, that, that what we're doing is um, true, that the security I'm saying we can create is actually happening. So here I've logged in to the public instance. And the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to curl uh, the private instance, right? So if I if I need that IP address, um, I can go and select the the private instance from the EC2 dashboard. Go down to private IPs. You'll notice that it's uh, 10.0.1. Something probably five if you followed my instructions. Um, this IP address is not routable across the internet. That's why it's considered. A private IP address. Um, so if I curl that and you see I get uh, the, the phrase that we typed in or the, the HTML that we typed in private web page works. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can SSH uh, from the public instance to the private instance. Uh, so I loaded that key the temp there, EC2 user at, I believe, well, let's see if that this works. It does. So I use the private IP address to SSH into it. Um, so now if I will clear so everyone can see where I am. So if I curl localhost, again, when I was on the public instance, it showed, it came back and said public instance works. So now that I'm on the private web server, it says, private page works. So there you have it. Uh, we've dim we've talked about uh, what a VPC is, what a, what a subnet is, and how to enforce security between subnets and the difference between a public subnet and a private subnet. Thank you so much for watching.